Okay, so I've been growing my hair out and I am going through the cycle <laughs> with you all, um, those who are growing their hair out and trying to try something new. So for me, I normally keep my hair very short, either a brush cut or a taper. So this time I decided, as you can see, to grow all of my hair out and my baseball caps are no longer cute. But um, yeah, I went to the gym today, so I'm a little sweaty. But here we go. Woo! Oh my God. This is how I look. The, the hat hair is real out here in these streets. But um, yeah, so I am uh, actually about to do my hair. And um, I just want to show you and then um, give you some tips on how to do your hair. Like this is like one of those medium lengths where we just really can't figure out what we want to do with it. It's kind of hard to manage. Um, it's not long enough for braids. It's not short enough to really look a certain way, but we have to get past this in order to get to our goal. So my goal is to look like her back there. You see her? You see her? Yes. Yes, big curly hair. So let's get started. So I don't have time for steam and all that fun stuff today, but we're gonna get through this pretty quickly. Um, I have clients today, so I did go to the gym. I was hoping to get her earlier, but I didn't. So let's go, because I gotta look good. So first, um, I'm gonna go in. Um, I did shampoo my hair last week, got some good steam, uh, Theo Shampoo V. So today we're gonna go with the Influence. Honey on the shampoo. Uh, my scalp is a little dry, a little flaky. Um, so I definitely want to use this because it's great for your scalp and it has cherry bark in it. So it's going to help rejuvenate and hydrate my scalp really good. So I'm going to start out with this. And then we're going to go in with the conditioner real quick and then we'll get into our styling. Just a quick tip. Um, if you suffer from dry hair and you feel like you can't get hydrated, try to use cooler water. Cooler water is going to be better for you um, overall because it's not going to completely strip your hair. So try not to use super hot water on your hair. Um, if you want to cleanse it, allow the shampoo to cleanse your hair and not use really hot water to like break down all the oils and the moisturizing in your hair and your scalp because that's gonna just dry it out more. So use a little bit of, um, I don't wanna say lukewarm, but a little bit warmer than that, but not hot. Okay, so here's a quick tip. So your first shampoo, you can have it, it's nice and warm. And then as you go through your, your next shampoos, let's say you're doing two or three, you can have the water get cooler as you go because your conditioner is really gonna seal your hair. And if you are using cooler water as you progress through your shampoo, you're going to seal the moisture into your hair. So first, we're gonna go in and we're gonna shampoo our hair with our warm water, um, not too hot. And then as we get through our shampoos and we're rinsing it, we wanna make sure the water gets cooler and cooler. And then by the time we get to our conditioner, it's nice and cool and the cuticle's laying down. But I'm gonna move this over here. Notice how I am, even though my hair is short, I am smoothing through from roots to ends. That is so important. Even if your hair is short, what you're doing is you're going ahead and telling that cuticle to lay down so that you can get reflection, which is shine, so that you can lock in all the moisture, so that you can prevent frizz, and you're detangling. This is gonna cut down on your detangle time substantially. So we're just gonna go in here. Whoop. Now, if you feel like you need to scrub your scalp, we wanna go in, do it like this, and then get up in there. Just look at all this hair on my head, oh my gosh. Get up in there, go underneath. Don't smash it down. Go underneath, just like this. Then move through and cleanse the lengths of your hair. Don't just focus on your scalp. 
really get in there use some tension between your fingers and and rub it you know smoothing it out intentionally Same thing, smooth, through the cuticle. I love how this honey almond conditioner actually like absorbs into my hair. It has a color preservation, so does the shampoo. It actually helps to preserve your color, it's sulfate free. And as I'm rubbing it, I'm literally massaging it into my hair, using my fingers, lots of tension, smoothing through the ends, just like this. And I don't have time to leave it on for a long time, but you're going to do it until the hair feels nice and smooth. Now we're gonna rinse it out in cool water. And you wanna rinse all the conditioner out of your hair. Because if you don't, the residue can actually affect your styling aid. So notice I'm still the motion that I used to keep my hair detangled, I'm using that with the towel. Sometimes we make the mistake of detangling through our entire shampoo process only to get to the dry part and smash our hair down and end up tangling it. So <laughs> be careful. So as you can see, I'm still using it and my hair is still detangled. I'm still able to get through my hair. I do have tight curls, so, but because I keep it hydrated, my hair naturally elongates. So as you can see, I have this beautiful afro going on here, and now we're about to get into styling. Okay, so for styling, we're gonna need Influence Organic Styling Gel, three row comb, spray bottle. This is purified, distilled water. Um, I use a filter on my shower heads, so let's do this. So I've already towel blotted my hair. Like I said, sometimes I recommend just putting it on while it's soaking wet, but I discovered for me personally, it works better if I towel blot my hair. So keeping my hair detangled, I'm gonna take a big old scoop of this. And I'm actually gonna work it in because I stretched my I kept my hair detangled going this way the whole entire time and plus I'm gonna work from the back up for my styling anyway but the main thing is to get the the gel on and smooth it through and detangle it through what I like about this gel is it doesn't get hard and crunchy at all um, and it has glycerin in it so what it's gonna do is actually is going to draw moisture into the hair. Um, that's why I don't wear a shower cap. Now the thing is, if you're in a dry climate, it's gonna draw the moisture out of your hair because the glycerin is gonna work the way glycerin works or the humectant is gonna work the way the humectant works. So the key thing in this step is to get your hair completely saturated with the gel as if you're going to slick it into a ponytail. Um, this is really important. So what I do, is I put it on and I'm going through with my fingers just like this. Now I'm going to wet my hair. Okay. So I'm going to show you all the back and then um, 
Yeah, let's go. So for me, hopefully, I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. So for me, combing it up really good, making sure my hair is completely detangled. Then I'm going to go through, I'm going to cut, do this, comb the next section up. Comb. Now, 